Yana Kokoska there, uh, they invited me over his house. It was, uh, must have been uh, the year of uh, 2019. I think it was, uh, I think it might have been before the summer or something like that. And, uh, you know, I, uh, I, I was going to this bar, the waiting room, and uh, someone uh, uh, texted me. Uh, it, it might have been like my, my girlfriend that was sitting there, but it might have been somebody else. I feel it was another female. And uh, actually, you know, she actually talked to me on Skype and she said, you know, you should go out and just drink. Don't don't go home yet. Don't go to your friends. That was Sarah, I believe. Now, I don't have whole heart proof, you know, because I didn't see Sarah, I see somebody else. So um, I don't know what's going on, but uh, yeah, I went to Yannick's house. I actually, after the wedding, I had three beers. And actually, like, people just kind of instigated, like, I leave. This girl, uh, Jamie and Mike, you know, they stood at the bar and smiled at me. Like, they knew something was going to happen. Like, you know, uh, I went to Yannick's house, and his wife said at the right of me, and they had this fold-out uh, towel. It was a bed. And Yannick said to the left. They never said like that. And they're like, oh, it's so, you know, you wanted to talk to us or something like that. I was like, why well, not? And the whole thing, stigma stayed with me. I was like, yeah, five, six years old, like I say, you know. Uh, in Poland, and he, the, this guy, uh, he uh, he took me to like the psychic, and she made me sell my soul, or like get uh, get you know uh, uh, permissions from like uh, the devil, I believe, you know, all because uh, I, I think I called him a pedophile or something like that. And you know, his sister, you know, I told her I didn't want to be her in, in my apartment when when these two babysitters were babysitting us, and my mother wasn't there, and she shouldn't even been there, you know. Truth be told, that one of the babysitters, you know, she got me drunk and stuff like that. And there was a lot of sexual things going on. I was five years old, she was like 19. I mean, you think about it, that's a child molestation, you think about it. And, you know, getting a child intoxicated with vodka, you know? I passed out after that. I, I, I remember, like, falling asleep, my stomach really hurt. But, you know, he got offended, and the clause was, he says, all you gotta do is say sorry to me, and I won't do this to you. I mean, like, how fucking, you know, like, like, how insecure are you, man? Or is it about something else? Like, you know, you that fucking disturb evil and you just fuck, you know, you wanna, you wanna mess with my life, you know? I uh, I remember, you know, even my aunt, uh, some of my aunts told me, like, when I was young, I, I understood, uh, I made a logical reason, but after that, things got really bad in my life. So, you know, I'm sitting at Yanka, Yannick's uh, house there, you know, it's Elizabeth Avenue, it was Elizabeth Kent Avenue. He moved down, I think he, he lived there with his son, or he lived in another uh, apartment, Rowway, then they told me he went back to Poland. But, you know, and it was like, I felt like a cross, it was a chair. I felt like it was a chair, maybe it wasn't a chair, but like somebody else was sitting. And all of a sudden, you know, I just, you know, felt like I like scratched on my uh, right glue, but I felt like that individual felt that, and, I, and they channeled me. But I felt like it was a female, like it was his granddaughter or something. I don't know if I, I'm right or wrong, you know? And he had two granddaughters, and you know, uh, one of them, it's, it's another story. And first of all, like we talked about, you know, I talked about, you know, uh, the soul uh, inside my soul. Also, I talked about like uh, my aunt Donna trying to do the same thing to my parents because they got angry because you know my father pointed out there was like a uh, it, it was just like like whether uh, it, it, it was around Christmas Day and, and her daughter was like setting up uh, the house that she does for like uh, two days and, and I looked up and it was just like little garbage like you know not feathers but like dust hanging off of a ceiling fan. I just looked at it, and my aunt looked at it, and I started laughing, and, you know, she just lost her fucking mind. Next thing you know, they tried to, like, sell our parents' souls and shit, and they did the same thing. Where, like, you know, we didn't see the person. Well, there was a person, but he was talking about something, and I just kind of, I don't know, he said something about Satanism, and then all of a sudden, like, Donna came in, and she laughed, and he, like, had had them say something like that. And Yannick, you know, I was, I was trying to tell Yannick about that, and, you know, I think they started asking about uh, Cynthia there, my, my girlfriend there. You know, they started talking about that, and it was just, you know, it was an account of fear. And, and yeah, there's people from the waiting room knew I was gonna go through that. You know, they actually enjoyed it. They, uh, I don't know if I read my, they read my thoughts, or they, you know, they knew Yannick Kokoschka, they, you know, clairvoyance, or they knew what was going on. They actually had smiles on their face, like, you know, oh, they said, you deserve this, because this is karma. Well, how did I fail you, Jamie? Like, well, how did I fail you? Like, this is karma, I got suffer for the attorney, like, you know, I, I told you maybe you should know, you should be honest, not tell people like, you know, we're going out and not going out. Or I know you from somewhere, or they, did I tell, you know, they said, oh, you and Mike, you had a relationship and you can work with each other. Wow, I should really suffer for the attorney, bro. Like, how fucking minuscule are you in your fucking minds, huh? 
I mean, what if, like, you know, someone does something very seriously? Then, then, then it's fine because we're like that, right? You know? It, it's just, you know, you get your little feelings hurt, and all of a sudden, you know, you want to, like, you not just disturb someone in this life, you know? Like, you make them depressed, sad, and, like, uh, frustrated and fear, but you you also, like, you know, try to put your afterlife. Like, you, you could just pick out a hell or something like that, right? For that person and shit, right? A little gutter ass waiting room, uh, fucking heathens and, and pricks over there, you know. You know, child like fucking people over there, right? Wanna come over? You gonna say something in my face? Huh? I'll come over here today. You gonna look at me and talk about that, bro? You know, why don't you work on your body there, Jay? Why don't you work on attitude, sense of humor, you know, just have a charisma. How about respect when, you know, I see you outside, you pretend to fucking know me, like an angry man, say, oh, hey, hi, love. Like a goofy little idiot you guys are. You know, but. Yeah, it was really that, and uh, uh, later, you know, things that happened to like two years later, and you gotta go over there and start perpetuating this, you know, the thing about Holocaust, and it stemmed from that. And it was gonna be, actually, it was about my parents, but also, like, he, he insinuated to me, I don't know how I pissed off Yanni, but I remember weeks before that, I embarrassed him in his house. The guy swung at me, and he missed and stuff like that. You know, Yanni would say the same things over and over, and I just told him, and this, he just said that five, ten minutes ago, man, I said, just stop messing around, Yannick, you know, I'm writing a book, and, you know, your book's gonna be, like, you know, 19 chapters, and, you know, it's gonna start off, I don't know if I told you that, because he would always say, I don't know if I told you, it's a Polish, like, and then I said, yeah, you did, you already told us everything, you know, and he got really angry, he was just, like, he just, like, put up his nose, like, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna beat your ass, so I like, go fucking do it, what are you gonna do, you gonna go outside? All right, let's go. All right, so I, I walked up first. Like, he's going to sneak me on my back. You know, I was watching him and stuff like that. I came out. He tried to swing. He was on the stairs. He, he like, fell. He missed. I actually held him because he's an old man. Like, he's going to fall and, you know, hurt himself. You know? Like, yeah, that's how you cowardly really are, man. But, you know, in your mind, you just have this delusion of I'm going to be persecuted for, for eternity because you fucking, what? You missed a shot at me? You know, so that's what he was. And it, and this isn't just about being fucking cool, this real life, real life. But that's the fucking people that you're not conservative, you don't give a fuck, you're like, go the fuck away, go fuck away, leave me the fuck alone, all right? You're not gonna fucking talk about this, you're gonna be minuscule, you're gonna call me baby and daddy, I'm someone like, you know, molestation, homosexual shit. 